Yer, listen, man. So today in Peroxide, I finally evolved to become a Vastokar. You can see right here, I am Ukiora now. I ain't gonna lie though, we're gonna have to like sword color reroll because Ukiora does not have a <laughs> orange sword. But yeah, basically, I'm just gonna be progressing as a Vastokar today, and the move set is going to be Ukiora theme based. Okay. Now, they don't have his specific resurrection in this game, so we're just gonna have to make do with this green resurrection. I'll pull it up in the Trello in a bit, but basically, you can't really know what your resurrection is until you're level 15, so I gotta hit level 15 first, and the Ukiura moveset so far, I have Lanza, obviously. This is the spear that you throw. I don't even have enough Rayatu to use it yet, and I can't even use Sarah Oscars yet because I don't have enough Rayatu for that either. I can only use a normal Sero, I think, and that takes a lot of Rayatu. Let's see here uh i think this is an npc so yeah you can see my sarah's green though so that's really nice but basically um with ukiora's kit i'm gonna be mostly focusing on my rayatu stat he doesn't really use much kenjutsu there's no point of really getting any kenjutsu skills and i can't really get kenjutsu skills anyways i know ukiora has that little like slash barrage thing but the thing is you can only have four skills at a time in this game so two of those skills is obviously going to be sero oscaris and lanza i don't know how to pronounce it lanza lanza you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below i ain't gonna lie and finger sero is not obtainable in this game yet apparently it's like some dev spec for some reason so i can't even use finger sero who knows when the game becomes public i'm pretty sure they're gonna release finger sero to the public but for now i can't even get finger sero so your overall level does not correlate to the stat that you have okay so i'm pretty sure um your base level just increases your max health by a little bit and it also allows you to get more skills and stuff so yeah let me go ahead and just kill this npc real quick so i can level up faster here got a level three sero if you didn't know in this game you can actually level up your skills and the more that you have in your skill the lesser the cooldown is so like uh sero with no upgrades in it has like a 90 second cooldown and you can see my cooldown is still quite large, but it's nowhere near 90 seconds. I'm pretty sure your upgraded skills do more damage too, but yeah, I'm not doing anything to this uh, Ajujis because uh, I literally have nothing. Like I have just one strength. I don't, I don't have anything at all. Oh yeah, a lot of people were telling me like, why do I pronounce it as Ajujis? I mean, like if you really want me to, I can say Ajujis, like the CH sound, but I don't know, bro. It's, it's just faster if I say Ajujis, all right, bro? Stop flaming me. But yeah, man, with how long the cooldowns are in this game, I honestly might have to just like focus a little more into strength with this build so I can M1 more and have my M1s actually do more damage. Anyways, as you can see right here, I'm going to try to roll for Vessel Resurrection just because the moves are green. So it kind of like represents Ukiora. And I'm pretty sure the Ukiora in-game boss actually uses Vessel Resurrection anyways. Yeah, so there's an Ukiora boss in this game that you can defeat and he has a chance of dropping the cloak that I have on right now. This cloak is going to be giving you 20 vitality, which is 20 health. And it's gonna also give you 0.5 health regen. So it's pretty nice. All right, we just leveled up here. New skill available. Yes, sir. All right, the obvious choice here is to upgrade my Lanza. So, you know, it does more damage and has a shorter cooldown. But I think whenever you upgrade a move, it costs more Riatsu to use too. But I'm not too sure about that. I'm pretty sure it's just because I don't have enough Riatsu yet. But yeah, man. Apparently, Lanza is a horrible move to use, by the way, too. Because if you're too close to it, it does damage to yourself. But at the same time, too, it has such a long windup. Whenever people see it, they just perfect guard it every time. So, yeah, it's a horrible move, apparently. I'm going to go ahead and make my way to Karakur, though. Because I did enter a code that gave me, like, 15 rerolls. So, I can use that to, like, reroll my eyes and stuff. All right, now all I have to do is find Kisuke's shop real quick for the rerolls. Oh, look at that. You can go to the Ukiora raid. You need eight players to participate in it, though. But, yeah, basically, if you enter that raid and beat the ukiora boss like i said again you have a chance of getting this cloak that i have on kisuke's house should be like right here i think or it might be this one but we'll see bro playing without flash step is miserable bro this is so tedious holy oh wow you can uh do missions and stuff to get some money huh tired of lame old combat experience from these jobs I can adjust them to give you stat training like in the dojo. Sure. Okay, hold up. I'm trying to get my strength up. Consider it done. Trust me, I've done this a hundred times. I know that it can never go wrong. 
those sparks are new okay so i guess when i do these jobs now i'll be able to uh get my strength up and stuff let's go ahead and talk to kisuke now though and i like to spend product essences general to five eye color reroll yes sir that's what i need all right apparently i didn't have any product essences which was weird because i entered a code that gave me 15 but let me see how i can uh spend my face rerolls and stuff with robux instead oh i'm so stupid i just click on this right here and it gives you everything okay so let's go ahead and eye color reroll here oh wait i already have rerolls for this okay so i'm just gonna keep eye color rerolling until oh there we go we got the green awesome and then weapon color reroll i don't have any of these so let's go ahead and just spend robux until i get uh the color that i want here oh my god we were so close i got the black handle but the hilt bro the hilt is blue like what dude oh i did not mean to put weapon style reroll what does that even do anyways i think weapon style reroll is a thing for soul reapers like your uh your shikai model reroll probably so i'm not gonna bother with that bro i'm not getting anything good all right we might just have to rock with this bro i don't want to spend more robux this is good enough okay oh, okay so as you can see right here it says raising a skills mastery reduces its cooldown and rayatu cost so it actually reduces rayatu cost not increase it all right can't really do anything too special until i actually get a flash step so i can actually uppercut and shit but yeah this is just early grinding basically just do missions yo the shinigami oh hell no nah. So as you can see, like, there's certain events in this game that will just spawn. Like these fucking teat ass Shinigami. And you don't want any part of that unless you're a high level, bro. But killing them will give you, like, cool ass items and shit. So it's definitely something that you could do end game. But for now, I'm a level six, bro. Like, bro, what do you expect me to do? All right, bro. You need to, like, stop blazing, bro. I'm actually going to die. I can't outrun them because I don't have flash step. Like, I'm actually going to die here. Okay. Time gate. That's actually pretty cool. That's the PvP system in this game. So if you enter a time gate um, with other people, you can queue up into game modes that will allow you to progress. So, like, I'm pretty sure for, like, Sagunda and Bankai, you actually need time gate wins and stuff like that. So it's something I can worry about later. I got 170 seconds to complete this mission, though. all right there we go who the hell is this are you okay those shinigamis of hollow mass all have an accursed fate only the few lucky can overcome okay i just talked to a crazy guy all right so i completed that mission but it didn't give me anything into my strength like bro what i can limit break right now though so let's go ahead and limit break here hey i'm not sure what that did to be honest but we just limit broke so we're now D rank instead of F rank. I'm pretty sure it's like to unlock your stat caps because apparently there's like certain caps that you can't go over unless you limit break. But I want to know any of that because I have everything as one right now. All right, I'm going to start delivering the package because, um, oh, okay. So it looks like since I wanted to focus on my strengths that this quest actually showed up for me. So that's what the npc does it just alters your quest and stuff it says the stat cap for your combat stats is 350 but it's 490 in total once you actually get segunda and then the stat cap for your utility stats which is your agility and Ryatsu, is 140 but it's 154 after you get your segunda but with your utility stats though you can actually get 140 of both agility and Ryatsu. but for your combat stats you can't have like 350 in each stat they all have to add up to 350 now the thing is people were telling me that hybrid builds aren't really good in this game so if i was to go like a spirit strength split which is basically like a kendo keto split it wouldn't do too well you either want to focus all into your spirit or you want to focus all into your strength in this game i'm probably just gonna focus more on my strength since vessel resurrection really scales off of strength a lot as you can see this one also scales off of strength and spirit but i think in the long run i'd rather have more strength anyway so what we're gonna do is not have any spirit at all i'm pretty sure what i want is like 
400 strength and like 90 vitality probably so my resurrection moves are going to do a lot of damage and then my oscars is just going to do like moderate damage if i ever wanted to try a spirit build i could always reset my stats anyways i'm pretty sure somehow but for now i'm gonna go like a full glass cannon build basically so 400 strength 90 vitality and then obviously i'm gonna have to match out both riatsu and agility on its own i don't have to really worry about you know figuring out what i want in these stats because i can have both of them at 140 oh my god what the f bro these npcs are getting out of hand bro like how do you expect me to kill all these people bro wait let me actually sarrow them for the one time let's see how much damage i actually do to them i do nothing I, I literally do nothing like bro why did they spawn on me oh i can enter my caps here so now that i actually understand what my caps can be i'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick 400 i want this at zero and then i want this at 90 there we go using my soul wayfinder and you want to go to this purple thing right here and basically inside the base you have to talk to some guy and he will give you access to the dojo membership you don't want to attack these people by the way all right if you attack them the whole city gangs up on you and you just die so do not do that dojo vendor yes sir how do i enter and i buy a membership there we go enjoy our services thank you thank you dude okay what is this shit these things right here actually buff your training exp but you need to have like 20 potential and i don't have 20 potential right now so there's no point of using that let's go ahead and bench press real quick and this will actually train vitality i need to train strength okay strength is this press space oh crap hold up it's a little mini game bro i can't do this in a fucking eu server there's no way Hold up. I'm gonna go crazy for the one time. Okay. So that actually got my strength up quite a bit. I mean, I guess I keep doing this until I can't anymore. I know there's somebody that's just gonna make a macro for this too. That's the funny part. And it's actually draining my Riyatu. So once I'm out of Riyatu, I probably can't do it anymore. Yeah. Once I'm out of Riyatu, I just can't do it anymore. So let's go ahead and train my Riyatu here too then. Yes, sir. Wait, what? How do I do this? Oh, I see. So wherever it's pointed. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I see how to do it now. You have to point it in the direction that it's going. And if it goes the same direction, you you can just keep it there. And that just actually boosted my Ray Atu up by a lot. All right, I'm going to keep doing this until I have to limit break. Simple as that. Actually, I need 10 speed. Let me go on the treadmill real quick. Okay, so I thought I had to click it the whole time, but you have to move this to the orange shits. As you can see, so you use WASD to move the middle gear to match with the orange. As you can see. Yo, I did too much. Oh my god. Yo. This is low-key annoying. Oh my god. Training speed is going to be a nuisance. Adrenaline has run dry. You should seek combat. No way, dude. Well, actually, I think I can still level this up. I think adrenaline just means that i had an xp boost yeah because i need to get at least 10 agility before we even like do anything i need a flash step this is so annoying oh my god i want my adrenaline to be up my m1 should do a bit more damage now too just because i have some strength on me which is nice oh and i can finally uppercut so might as well just show that off real quick bang yes sir and new skills available awesome uh a move that can be used while stunned you will quickly scatter around becoming invisible and gaining speed for one second and cyclone i might as well just keep upgrading uh lonzo here and damn still not enough reatsu okay so if i use sarah oscaris you can see that thing is huge pause but it's not going to do that much damage because I'm not going to go anything into spirit. Yeah, this build doesn't really get too good until I actually get my resurrection. 
And I can actually go into res right now if I just press G. And basically, I don't know what I rolled yet, though. Because you have to be level 15 to see what you rolled. But yeah, here's what my resurrection looks like. That's fucking ugly, actually. What is this? A pigeon nose or some shit? <laughs> Bro, that is nasty. At least in this mode, my M1 damage is buffed. It looks like. Yeah, my M1 damage is buffed. I'm pretty sure my Saro does more damage too. But I'm not too sure about that. Alright, leveled up once again. And... Yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and max out Lonza here. Let's see. Ooh, now I can finally use it. Honestly, the move doesn't look too bad. 55 seconds, though, for a level three maxed out Lonza is crazy. This move better do, like, hella damage. I'm going to go into Raz real quick, and then I'm just going to use Lonza here. Oh, crap. I don't want to get uh, interrupted, though. Can I cheese them? I probably can't cheese them. All right, whatever. I'm about to just tee up on these people real quick. Okay, let's see if Lonza has hyper armor here. Actually, I'll be able to just throw this. Okay, there's a decent amount of damage. I'm not complaining about that. This is uh, some good XP right here. I'll tell you what, this is some nice XP. Let me go ahead and throw these. Yes, sir. All right, let's see how low I got them. I got them decently low. So yeah, the move's actually not that bad. If you actually scaled it with like spirit scaling, you could go crazy with it. All right, this is going to be the moment of truth here to see what res I roll. Hold up. This guy going crazy on me. Okay. Rising star. Bring forth the stars, raising your opponent up in the air. Okay, so that's Astra. We got a common, which I don't want. So let's start res rerolling now, I guess. An evasive, though. Ooh. That's actually going to be nice. I'm going to pick up scatter image here. Okay, so let's go ahead and res reroll until I get what I want. Astra, I do not want that. Vessel, wait, is that the one I want? Yo, we got Vessel, yes sir, that's the one I wanted. So, from the Vessel moves, I want move number two, and then I want Bite, because Bite's actually really nice. It says, this move will auto-lock onto an opponent if they have been recently hit by any Vessel moves. So what I will do is hit them with move two, and then move three will just be auto lock. And then move one, honestly, I don't really need it. What I can do now, though, is press N. And then I'll be able to go into my world here. Okay. And then I talk to this guy. And he will allow me to see my list of abilities here. I can unequip high speed regen and then equip scatter. There we go. And I have 2.1 times adrenaline now, so I'm just going to go back to the dojo here and honestly just train up my strength. Oh, nah, they just took away my dojo membership. Is this like on a fucking timely thing? Timely basis or something? That's crazy, bro. That is so crazy. How am I going to earn money now? I don't even know the fastest way to earn money, to be honest. All right, I think I found a way to cheese this medals, bro. Never mind. Holy shit. I ain't gonna lie, I already died like six times trying to kill this shit. Thank you, bro. This Shinigami actually helped me. Okay. Bite. Is that the one I want? Yes, this is the one I want. Yes, sir. We got Bite now. Let me just replace it with my Saro here. Alright, so obviously I had to be in Resurrection to use this move. So let's go into Res real quick. Yes, sir. And now I can use it. Alright. Let's see how good Bite is against this guy i need a. Uh... oh my god this audra just is actually kind of teed yo the soul reaper chill let me use bite bro oh it's a grapple okay so it's a grapple it looks like it's grapple distance but it's gonna auto track if you uh it's gonna auto track if you inflict um a vessel move already 
Hopefully I get mission XP for that. Yeah, I do. Nice. New skills. I might as well just upgrade bite, huh? Wait, open the gates as the fallen ones creep out and gnaw on its victim. Oh, wait, that's the one I also want, too. So let's go ahead and pick that up here. And then I guess I just take away Lonza. Honestly, bro, like, I'm sorry, but that move is just midi. I won't ever use Lonza in a real fight. You just use it to initiate fights. Because if you try to use it in a real fight, you're just going to hit yourself. There's no point of having Lonza, but it was cool while it lasted. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and pick up. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey, this is a perfect time to actually show off my res. Oh, my God. They're going crazy on me. Let me deliver my damn package, bro. Hold up. Let me scatter images out of this. What's up? So I need to build up my bar to 25% before I can actually use resurrection here. The sidebar, as you can see, to your left. And now I'm going to go into res. Oh, shit. I'm actually low in balls, though. Fuck. Hold up. People actually are teeing on me. I couldn't even use it for real. Bro, I can't use my res moves. These people are interrupting it. Don't tell me I die here. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't die here. Here's like a very high level Shin Nagami here. So let's actually just like try to tee up on him, I guess. I don't even know if we will be able to. Okay. And then I can use bite now, right? Yep. Oh my God. The animation is crazy. Damn, how long is this move? Yeah, I do no damage. <laughs> that was cool though. That was cool. I ain't gonna lie. As you can see, I trained a bit of my strength and my Riatsu. My adrenaline got low, so I wanted to show y'all that I actually did re-roll my res model too. So that I don't look like a fucking pigeon, crow, whatever anymore. Let me see here. Uh, I might want to upgrade bite because i'm not really feeling i had bro like it doesn't really hit stun properly i rather just have the other move so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade bite here and then we're actually gonna replace i with the other res move anyways let me go ahead and um go into res real quick so i can show y'all my new model looks pretty cold as you can see I mean, it's nothing like Ukiora. I don't got time to be wasting my money on res reroll models, especially when I don't even know if there's an actual, like, res that looks like Ukiora's anyways in this game. All right, let's go ahead and use this again, though. Mm -hmm. Knock him back, then bite. What? Oh, wow. Okay, so I guess the, uh, the cooldown, not the cooldown, but the duration of being inflicted by your vessel moves and using bites auto track is very low so i can't just use like aha and one them a few times and then use bite i probably have to like use them both i have to use them both in succession from the looks of it um i'm just gonna go ahead and beat up on this dude real quick so i can keep up my res mode and i, I need to find hold up let me just oscar you wow Oscars has no hyper armor awesome i want to see how much damage my full combo does now at 26 strength let's check it out i could probably m1 them like a few times and then use bite yep mm. bang okay honestly i was expecting more damage but it's not bad for a move you know oh crap relax let me scatter image out of here real quick there we go and we might as well just level up one more time because after this level here i'll be able to get my level up let me go ahead and oscar him you are dead okay so yeah, that's a great way to end this video. If you want to see more progression, I think next video I'll start doing invasions and stuff. I just need my friend to be here with me because I'm not sure how strong invasions are, but those are also another great way of increasing your uh, combat stats and support stats. So you don't have to actually be on the treadmill all day or punch a fucking boxing bag all day to upgrade your stats. I just can't wait to be stronger, man. And honestly, the Sarah Oscars might have to go, bro. It just sucks that in this game, you either have to go strength or spirit. And then if you go spirit, you have to have an all spirit kit. And then if you go strength, you have to have an all strength kit. You can't really have a hybrid. I mean, you can have a hybrid of both, but I'm telling you guys right now, every tester is telling me the hybrid builds are trash in this game. So 
I don't even know if I'll actually keep this Oscars on for real. I mean, I could always knock them back and then use Oscars like this. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what I should do. I could always get like the uh, slash barrage move and then that's still like Ukior theme based. All right, I'm out though, y'all. Have a great day. It is now or never. Fist of a guy like Rock Lee. Leg weight all can't stop me. Drunken fist at top speed. Eight gates, low, get by. Hurricane.